aggressive figure drawing. And then, you know, when I was preparing for this, I thought, what am I, what do I mean by this? And I found the greatest little section in a book from 1965 on drawing the figure for painting and illustration. And I'll just want to read a couple of quotes from it that it just nailed it for me. That um, basically, the first thing they say is the figure in action is the figure alive. Since action expresses life, it ranges from the slightest quiver to the most violent acrobatics. It is gesture, emotion, attitude, and expression. Even the figure at rest is a result of action that prepared for that rest. So the other thing that is exactly what I want like to talk about is this, that in coping with the problems of delineating action, one of the most uh, important allies is empathy, the ability to imagine ourselves in the body of the If we can feel the action in our own muscles and bones, then combine that feeling with our acquired knowledge of the figure, we are on our way to a successful solution. So that's, um, that's what I want to talk about and that's what I want us to do together to kind of get some basic understanding of how to get the figure in action. It's really rare if you think about it. Go ahead, Don. It's really rare to have somebody who's standing straight up and down and not moving in some way. It's almost never do you do that. Um, and the first thing that I loved, and I, I, I I studied drawing for like mostly on my own, but I kind of sent myself to art school of just taking classes and practicing on the subway or just drawing, trying to figure out how to draw anything. And this little solution to me was the absolute best of understanding act of drawing the figure in motion or the figure expressing anything. And it is it's called the action line. Has anybody here? Drawn with this idea, it's basically because that's basically the the action line kind of goes with the spine. So sort of the first thing to do in a sketch is what's the action line, and then it's this. It's kind of the first identifying thing. What is the per how is the person moving? And and the action line is the same as the spine, but it's kind of do the movement like. It's, and it's never this, the spine doesn't do that. It's this, this, this. And it seems deceptively simple, but that, that basic shape, that basic start of that curve is the beginning of a drawing. So first, so my first suggestion is start with the action line and figure. And then we have the shoulders and the pelvis. And one of the things when you draw, if you're drawing a figure like this, you're not allowing for twisting, which is what most, almost always, the, 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 the torso twists. The, so you separate the shoulders and ribcage from the pelvis is how you show different movements. So the next, so first the line of action and then shoulders and pelvis. And right now I'm just going to make them up. I don't know where they're going to go, but okay, the shoulders go there and the pelvis goes there. And on this one, we'll put the shoulders there, the pelvis here. The shoulders, the pelvis. Um, and it's kind of based on what is the body doing. Oh, let me get the body up there. So here, with these kids, it's sort of the action line is right that way, like whoosh. And that's, you know, I really was doing this as I was thinking, I, I was telling my husband, it's like <laughs> You know, that really is, to think of it as flowing movement. Um, so it's kind of swish, swish, swish. And you see the, pel the, the pelvis is going this way and the shoulders are going that way. So that's just two of the shoulders and pelvis. And then I like to do the head next. What's the head doing? And I never, you don't attach the head to 
to the pelvis, it's above. Like you can ignore the neck, you can get that later. But is the head going this way? I mean, when you do it in a figure, this will say so much of is the person, you know, um, well, like, like if I'm doing this, it really matters. Is my head going this way or that way? So that's the next thing to identify, which, where, just where do you place this? So it could be there, it could be there, like the person's looking out that way, or that way. So then you're starting to get the feeling of the body, and then it's the arms and the legs, thinking of the joints here, And again, based on what the figure's doing, the arms can be kind of straight, and also they're rarely totally straight, like a ruler. They can be more like this, or, you know, really a right angle, but it's kind of one line. So it could be this, that. And then same with the legs, kind of it's either Again, actually, the legs are rarely stiff, totally stiff. It could be that, it could be this. And again, so it's just one line. What's the leg doing? Either do it at a right angle, then, you know, do two, two angles in your line, or just one, based on the, on the image. And it can show us the fact that we have to Yes. <laughs> So, yeah, let me go. So, actually, let's do this first. So, there's. So, we have that, and then the shoulders, the pelvis, the head. And then we need to do the arms. The legs are coming out. And actually, often, when you're drawing the figure, you won't see all of it. And that can kind of trip you up, but you don't see it. So it's not there. You kind of picture it, but you're not going to draw it because like that leg isn't showing. Don't worry about it. It's not there. It's, for your purposes, it's not there. So in this case, and actually, I come in. So that's my first basic thing. And then hands and feet. And they matter too. It's kind of the feet. The hands can be one, just a simple one arm, but usually there's the thumb. I'm actually not doing it. Is. And I wouldn't bother when, when we, the kind of sketching we're doing to do fingers is not worth it. Probably. It depends. I mean, if you, if you want to get that specific, but it's not necessary for a quick, really what I'm talking about is quick sketching to kind of demystify trying to draw anybody. Like right now, if I were drawing you, it would be, okay, the, the spine will like this. And later, you refine it. Once you get this stuff down, the rest is just fun. It's like... It's just adding, it's building on. It's like as if you, you've got the, the foundation of the house, where the, you know, the, the works, all the um, castle stuff is in, and then you get to decorate. That's kind of what, how I see this. So once you, the more you learn about the basic, the more fun you can have later, because you, you're not going to find, oh my god, the, that's, the hip is way out of, it doesn't, it doesn't add up. The feet are too, the, width, the legs are too long, or whatever. It's kind of just getting the feeling. <laughs> so, okay, and then the feet are going up. And that's, so that's that person. And then the, the girl is, okay, we'll go. <coughs> Her pelvis is kind of more in line with her shoulders, and her 
head is kind of looking down. Actually, don't worry about the, the lady can get the nose, what exactly the chin is doing. Then we have the arms going out. Out. And I think you can't really see her second legs. But it's basically. So as I say, once you get that, you can, you know, you can start refining it. And you know, because the action line, you can do it, and then this could end up the action. You can, you make it up. It's sort of what feels, what seems right. This is literally the spine, or this is the arc of the movement. And this much is the spine, and the movement is something like this. But, but anyway, I, let's try another example. Ah, oh, perfect. So, <clears throat> so the movement. The arm, like the line of action, is just a swish right like that. And then <clears throat> this pelvis, the pelvis is kind of tilted toward us. So kind of like that. And this is going this way. The head is down there. And then we have our joints here. So this one is going straight out. And this one is going, we can see it's sort of not a total straight line, but curve, and then it's coming to the thigh and then the calf. And then the arms, our hips actually, they look pretty straight. So we're going up and up. And the hands. As I say again, I just not worry about the details, just the, a shape that looks like the foot, something to just finish it off. And then, once you have that, then you can go, kind of, oh, okay, you know, put meat on, on the bones, literally. <coughs> um, So this leg is going to bend. 
So it's kind of not, not to overanalyze it, but there's always, it's kind of, that's why the spine and the line of action are so important, because it tells, it directs everything else from there. So would everybody like to try this? We'll do, I have a timer here, and I think we'll do this for a minute. I'll show those pictures. And Oh, we can just do the first, just try to do the, the boy in front. And just... <clears throat> and it also helps to, when you're drawing, to think about the, the feeling, like this one is a a really fun movement. This, this kid, they're jumping into the water. They're, it's a really gleeful thing. So kind of pay, feel that in your own body as you're doing it. And as I said, try to get into the body of the person that you're drawing. And just go with the, literally go with the flow of the body. So I'm going to start. We did we did 15 second sketches in the faces. I'm going to do it a little longer because it's. Um, I think I'll try. I'll do the first one as a minute, and tell me if you it seems too long. We can go we can go shorter and shorter. But I think the first two, just take your time figuring out how to do that. So are you ready? Everybody has paper and sketch mode okay. in. Okay, go ahead, go. Just the first person, the first guy, unless you have time to do the second. Any questions? Any, how did that go for people? Would anybody like to share what they did up here? Okay, great. On the first one, uh, the spine was too long. Uh -huh. So when I tried to put the meat on the bones, it was like a huge one. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 
Well, actually, one thing with this, you can do those correcting things, you know, it's just correct later. And, you know, um, I was saying in the other class, the, the first uh, illustrations course I did, we were not allowed to use pencil or eraser. It was just all line, an ink pen. And to just get used to not worrying about getting it wrong, you know, learn from getting it wrong and just correct it. Even if it ends up looking like a mess, you're learning from it and you're finding the right line. Like you were able to see, this line's too long, I just, it doesn't make sense. And, and then just kind of correct it. And if you're actually doing a drawing, you could do this in, a, in a, where you want a finished product. You do it in, in this, this part in a light gray, a very light gray, and then it will get covered by whatever, you know, then you can correct it, and when you cover it with black or any color, the mistake will not be, it'll be invisible. So you can So here's another, you know, part of one of the things about the body moving is, or not moving, but expressing here, uh, it's for all kinds of emotions. So here we have the spine, you can't really see it, but it's basically, he's slumped over, so it's going to be in here. Just draw around the top. You know, I wish I—that's what I was doing on the uh, But I can't. I can bring it to procreate, and I wasn't able to take it back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sort of a whiteboard. Oh, oh. dog! Excuse me. I'm here. I'm thinking of the screen. Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> Because we didn't have a screen down before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's great. It's so much easier. Right, it's just called explain everything. You can see the slides. And you can I know. Draw right. 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 That's what I was. That was my game, and I didn't get it. Okay. So the spine is a little big. The spine would be like this. The shoulders are like that. The hips. This one is not so much movement in the spine, and then the, and actually just seeing what's next. The head is way down, and then we don't see this part of the arm, but we know it's there, so it's coming toward us. So it's sort of we can't see it, but it's coming up here. Same thing with the leg; we don't see the thigh, but we see the cap. And then the hand. I'm, do I'm doing these cartoony just for the sake of getting it down. in whatever way. And this, this is where, like, for purposes of sketch noting, the simplest, you, I mean, often I do hardly any, any detail of clothing. It's, you can just do dark shape and do this all in, in, you know, do a black outline and color this red, red, blue, blue, brown, brown, whatever. But you don't really, probably not going to get into the details, although a little bit of detail could add, but it's not necessary. It's kind of more important to get the feeling and the, um, the feeling of the body and what the skeleton is doing underneath. Yeah. Yes? I found this one to be the hardest one uh -huh. for me because of all the hidden. Right, I know, I know. It's interesting. This, like this one, when you see this, it's like, oh my god. But that, that one is, you're yeah. seeing everything. And when somebody 
It's, it's like this. I it, think it's because with the other ones, you can see that around the line of action, there's an implied balance. Mm -hmm. Whereas with this one, I don't see the implied balance because of all the hidden parts of the. In my sketching workshop, I will say uh, draw like agents. As long as you are in the paper uh, plan, it's very easy to draw people, you know. Uh -huh. As soon as you add the foreshortening, it's, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if people can hear it, but he was saying, it was saying, if you draw it
So it's kind of a, a person like that with what's making them happy is a good way to identify content.
And this could be kind of big. But because I don't think the people in the back could see if somebody does something here, you can't see it, is that right? And you can't see the body. But would anybody be interested in posing on these chairs for a 15 minutes? Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll, I'll do something and just take 15 seconds and go. Okay. Go.
six, seven. So in commits, uh, American commits it's eight, eight, and one guy is more six. This guy is six, most of the time. Um, so one head, uh, about a third of the head, you have the shoulder line. Um, one head below, you have um, uh, the, the rest line. Um, uh, and then uh, the nose strip is uh, still one head below, about. And then there's a. Um, uh, uh, so shoulders, uh, about a third of head. Uh, rest, um, the, the rest is about middle, um, the nose strip. Most of the here. Then the second leg. Okay. Uh, it's clear. Um, okay. So perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So finally, okay, everybody ready? All right, so it's 30 seconds, let's go. It's kind of it's tricky because the legs are only sort of crossing each other. It's, it's kind of subtle, but if you just think, you know, it's always that the the leg moving forward. Yeah, that it's opposites. This is this right now. You're walking. It's kind of they're opposite. I know. I'm not sure how to describe it, but.
Yes, okay. The forward, if the leg is going forward, the arm is going back. That's it. So forward and back. So that's one thing to think right away. It's sort of get the, the spine and then, and actually, it can be, well, I won't get into that, but it's basically think of that, which, which leg is in front, then that arm is going to go back. And actually, I think one of the hardest things to me to draw from life is somebody walking. And it so has to be a quick sketch, and it's really frustrating, but then if you do it, you'll, you'll realize you got it. They look like they're walking. It's just a few quick lines, but it's believable if you don't think about it too much. So let's try this one. Now, I'll do 30 seconds, because we're it's getting late, and if we have time, we, you, if you want to just do one of the people, or we both if you can fit them in. So 30 seconds, and go. Thank you. 